I met my husband on a plane coming to uh, Hawaii on a vacation. And <laughs> yeah, and I, I never had any um, idea of ever moving to Hawaii. It was never on my bucket list. But um, I sat down next to this uh, guy who seemed really nice and really interesting, and uh, we struck up a conversation and um, became pen pals after that, and, <laughs> and eventually we got together. I've done art, you know, my whole life, but uh, for many years I struggled with subject matter, what to do. It's like, I know I know how to do this, but what do I do, you know? And then when I got here, it was, it just hit me between the eyes how beautiful the culture is, the people. I felt like I was, I was in a moving mural, you know, it was just, everything just knocked my socks off about this place. Before I even moved to Hawaii, I was always fascinated by old pictures. I was always buying old uh, photograph albums of people that I never met, you know, just because I, I loved those images. And it continued when I got to Hawaii. I, I would seek those pictures out. You can go to a hula event and a lot of the things that you see will be things that you could have seen a hundred years ago. I do like that timelessness thing, that it could have taken place yesterday or it could have taken place a long time ago. Most of my images, I would say, are of women and girls. There's a femininity here that persists in the way they dress and the way they move. I mean, there are so many times I'll be in the grocery store or something and I'll be going, I want to paint you or I want to do a print of you. You know, it's like, I know this isn't appropriate. I know she's going to think I'm crazy and I never do it. But, um, you know, it's like, shoot. I think what uh, I portray in a lot of my art is those little in-between moments. One girl helping another fix her skirt or a, a mother helping her daughter um, fix her hair or something like that. For some reason, it's important to me to record those moments and to bring them forward in my art. You know, it, it just seems like the, those are moments that shouldn't be lost. Even though hula is a Hawaiian tradition, you have Asian kids, you have Caucasian kids that are all just as serious about doing this. And it really is a melting pot here, you know. And um, I think that the very subject of hula speaks to our theme. Printmaking, I approach it as more of a traditional kind of thing. I know a lot of people are using more modern um, uh, materials these days. Sometimes I use somewhat more modern materials, but um, uh, a lot of what I do is, you know, the same kind of stuff that Rembrandt did hundreds of years ago. A teacher told me years ago to avoid using black in my paintings, right? I don't know. So I often start out everything with a blue line, you know? <laughs> and then it's like I'm, uh, uh, this is probably not cool to say, but it's like I create my own coloring book, you know? And then I take it from there, you know? I start out doing the same thing in my um, paintings, and often I work on my paintings the way I do on my prints, that I sort of layer them the way you do with uh, aqua tint. I put this color on, and then I put a different color, you know, on the whole thing. So it's using different materials, but it's sort of a similar approach. I've tried lots of different kinds of printmaking. Uh, I did litho when I was in college. Uh, my drawing skills sucked so bad that I thought, I don't want multiple <laughs> images of these pictures. <laughs> um, and I, I still like working with wood. I, I build things too. I like, um, you know, making bookcases or whatever too. But I love working with wood, so I, uh, sometimes I do woodcut as well. What I've kind of stuck on is etching. And I just, you know, that moment of truth when you 
flip up the felt and you see what you got, it's just like magic or something. It's like the moment of truth, right? Printmaking is usually a, a community, you know, it's a team sport because not everybody has etching presses or whatever is required. So um, it's great for being around other artists and sharing ideas and stuff. That's one of my favorite things about printmaking. I hope to evoke an emotional response with my work more than a, um, a cerebral intellectual response. I think that's, you know, the main thing for me is to try and make people feel something. When I was a kid, I uh, listened to a lot of Bob Dylan. I still do. I love Bob Dylan. <laughs> and uh, from way back when, I was thinking if I could ever do a painting or a print or something that would move people the way I was moved listening to some of these songs, you know, um, or that something that was as poetic as some of these songs. Um, uh, I would feel like I had really accomplished something.